How are you? I am much more confident on not relying on Europe as a salvation. <laughs> that I'm absolutely confident about. And effectively, the plan does not foresee a substantial increase in volumes in Europe or a participation by FCA in what I consider to be um, incredibly unrewarding market segments, which have historically produced no margins and destroyed capital. U.S. cap is 55. Okay, um, and then um, other... Okay, and other we are now in a very stringent capital allocation program where unless we have certainty or quasi-certainty within our, our assessment of the markets, of the recovery of our investments, we will not do it. Because you, you, cleared, you ruled out divestures, but does that also mean that um, partial listing of Maserati? I'm going to state the plan. I've got to make sure that the plan gets delivered. That's the first issue. Um, and secondly, hopefully you, you saw some incredible talent today. Completely out of the question. I have no interest. Okay, thank you. I have no magic wand. I, the only thing I do is that I, I think I know how to lead people. And the ones that, I, that we have here are, are phenomenal people. They've done extraordinary things over the last five years, and they've done extraordinary things in the last 10 um, when I joined Fiat. When you say potential, yes, what will it depend on? Whenever it we decide. Even even for my blunt style, I was probably even blunter than I normally am when I said the spreadsheet cap capitalism has failed. If you're going to try and apply spreadsheets to this plan, you're going to get, it undoubtedly ties. Finance people make sure that the balance sheet ties and the P&L ties. But it's driven by something else. It's driven by a very clear understanding of the power and reach of the brands. We've cleaned, cleaned up all the duplicity and the misunderstandings about these brands within the house. And I think we're in execution mode now.